Hello， 大家好，这里是天气呀、啊。Hi guys， this is Tian Chat here. How are you guys doing? I hope everything is fine, and I have something new to share with you guys, which you'll find it very helpful by using this Adobe Lightroom in editing your photos. So this is a photo that I edited、uh, previously by using the Lightroom, and I'll show you the original photo is like this, and then after adjust a lot. It becomes something like this. So now I'm going to do a demo. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. So right now I'm going to reset all setting. I'll show you my workflow at the same time as well. So the first thing first is to open Lightroom, import photo. After that, usually because I want to post it on Instagram, I'll just crop it to four over five dimension and straighten up my photos. So you can see all the guidelines will help me straighten up the photo quickly, and the guideline also help me to to frame my photos. Okay, maybe this one would do. And right here, right now, I like to make the temple more stand out in the photos. So I will need to. Adjust the lighting first. Usually, I'll press the auto button. Then, is、uh, too if it's too much, then I'll just try and fine tune here, because I I feel that the sky is too bright. I'll just decrease the highlight, and shadow maybe black. Okay, it's all good. I want to focus on the temper. So right here, right now, let's go to the temperature. Temperature here usually I don't adjust much unless I want to adjust the color into something more golden color, which will depict that okay the weather is a bit hot. So right here right now here is one of the major part where I adjust the color. So first thing first because I want the attention to focus on the temple, so usually I'll just remove the color, the sky color to something zero or even just leave a little bit. And then I will adjust it to the temper, maybe yellow color a bit more, and then hue to create a different tone for your temper. So this one will become green. This one will become red. So if I don't want to adjust too much, I'll just maintain a bit. And now you can see that okay, the sky is now no color, and I want my temper to stand out more. I'll just adjust the luminance. Increase the luminance to something more extra. Here you go, and I want the sky to get a bit more darker so that I can reveal more details. Just pull it down. As you can see, when I pull it all the way down, you can see some leftover blue color on here. I just press saturation and then remove it. There we go. Right here, right now, I think all the color is done. I don't see any purple or pink magenta, so don't want to adjust much luminance. All right, next step. Next step would be here. Texture, because if I want the building to become more vivid and clarity, sometimes I will just play with the texture and clarity. To increase the details, and then the haze. The haze is a special tool where you want to make your cloud and sky even more drama. So this is how you do it. Don't overdo it because you look so grumpy. And maybe just a bit. And you can always press and hold to compare the before and after. Ah, you can see that. I did adjust too much so that the sky will become something like this. So I need to go back and recover somewhere here. It related to all this luminance. Yes, you can see the luminance. It's because of the luminance. And right here, right now, go back to here. The haze. I want you to focus on the temple again, so I play with the vignette. Don't do, don't overdo this. Remember, don't overdo this. Just adjust a little bit, so that you can see the whole image from here to become something like this, and you can focus on the temple and all the other thing. Nothing much. And right here, right now, usually sharpening, I'll increase a bit, and also noise reduction, 
because the main thing that I would like to remove is the color noise reduction which is to help remove all the color noise reduction when you zoom in all the way so I think almost finished let me adjust back a bit of this vignette okay now I'll do a quick course here yes, as you can see there's a lot of Instagrammer that have their own color tone so they create usually they create their own color tone by just adjusting and playing with all this curve so right here right now you can see they are like a white color green and red so usually before I edit I'll just put the three pointing on all the three color as you can see even just a mild adjustment you can see the whole overall image color already changed a lot and usually I'll just keep my image to something blue so I'll just drag a bit of the tail here so that the shadow will look blue and then the highlight highlight as well and you see your overall image is overall image is a bit too red then you just lower down your red color again right here right now green too much okay remove the green here and you will see red so increase a bit back so it balance out there you go this is a quick adjustment of your color and if you want more contrast usually this is what people do they do the S curve so the image has a dramatic really dramatic kind of contrast details and I, if I want to review the shadow that's how I do it again and alright I think this should do the job so this is a quick edit from this photo into something like this and another good thing about Lightroom is that you can always copy setting like right here right now just copy setting and then you can go to your previous photo so this photo was adjust using another Lightroom preset that I adjust previously on my previous video <sighs> it will take some time to load because usually you have already do a lot of editing and you will need to load again everything so that takes some time alright load finish let's see how it turned out so this is before and this would be after I paste the setting so as you can see comparison this would be the photo and this would be another one let's try again okay so as you can see this three photo will have the same color series so you can always fine-tune the photo like okay you can see that maybe this picture is a little bit too dark already so you can always increase back the exposure so that it will synchronize to this other two photo by the way all these photos are captured by just using the Samsung Galaxy S10 the ultra wide camera so that I can see the overall building and you can even see myself right here so you can have synchronized settings so that these three photos will look all good together now to further edit where you can see that I add the three tags huh Oh, maybe maybe you should check my previous video on how I add the 3D text on the photo to make it more interesting. If you don't know how it looks like, you can always check out my Instagram IG feed on the previous post where I easily add some text to the photo and make it more interesting and more personalized. So always save to the highest available quality so that it will remain high quality posting on your Instagram so that's all for my sharing today guys and I hope you like this kind of sharing and learn something new about Adobe Lightroom if you like this kind of video do leave a comment and let me know so that I'll just do some editing on my next future photo so that you can learn something even more so yeah just press the like or even share although this is not on youtube yet or it will be on youtube soon so thanks again for watching and i shall see you on my next photography and mobile graphy editing sharing this is Tian chat here signing off thank you bye